Yeah, well, I know you are, but what am I? Hey, listen, fatso, I don't want you up on my roof again this year, see? And that goes double for them eight tiny reindeers of yours. I don't want to be cleaning up after no eight tiny reindeers, see? And if you try shimmying down my chimney, you are going to be in for a big surprise. It's called a roaring fire, and you... W uh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're on. <laughs> I didn't know we were on. <laughs> Hello, darling. <clears throat> yes, sir. It's little old me, that uh, yuletide kidder who's a real side splitter. <laughs> Elvira, mistress of the dark. And uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I was uh, just uh, sort of Josh in there with old Saint Nick. <laughs> yeah, golly, we, we just kind of like to do that, you know. <laughs> he pulls my leg and I pull his beard. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> and tonight, in the spirit of the holidays, we're threading up everybody's favorite direct from the land of compact cars and sushi bars. It's Gamera Super Monster. <laughs> oh, boy, if you thought Godzilla was a killer, you just wait till you lay eyes on old Gammy Baby. <laughs> It's lights, Gamera action right after these words from the advertisers. That's right, Gamera Super Monster. <laughs> Will that be cash? No, I'll charge it. <laughs> yes, folks, another shocking scene here on Movie Macabre. She must have been using one of them little joy buzzers like you get from the joke store, you know. And take it from me, that chick is what you call bad sake. Bad sake. <laughs> You know, I thought this movie was supposed to be about some super monster, not about a bunch of super chicks. Well, so far, the only monsters I've seen were them little kids in the schoolyard. Well, what the heck, things have just gotten underway, and I really did like that astronomy lecture there in the beginning. Oh, you know, that was Japan's answer to Carl Sagan, Carl Shogun. So, we'll get back to that land of geisha girls and Morocco pearls right after these gems from the advertisers. And you were wondering what put Lionel Trains out of business. Boy, it sure was nice of him, though, to subtitle the movie like that when that big old mean monster first came on the screen. Only trouble was, they did the subtitles in Japanese. I mean, you needed one of them Berlitz dictionaries to figure out what it said. There is a general rule when you go to subtitle a movie. You do the subtitles in the language that most of the people watching actually speak. <laughs> oh, and if they ever gave an award for the best con job by a mother in a motion picture, it would have to go to the mother of that little brat with a Yamaha organ. I mean, she didn't want some smelly old turtle in the house. What would Papa San say when he got home? So what'd she do? She conned him into setting it free, letting it go in the river. That's the problem. Too many turtles going in the river. Okay, I know you're all asking, where is Gamera when we really need him? When we return to that land of bonsai trees and Sony TVs, it's Gamera to the rescue. Trust me, I know these things. Well, I'm glad for that little brat Kaichi getting his wish and all, but for a so-called super monster, Gamera ain't doing such a hot job of it. Maybe, maybe it's supposed to be like, like Rocky or something, you know, like when he lost his first time to Mr. T. Oh, well. <laughs> and we can all be thankful for one thing, that we don't live in Japan. I mean, you think you got problems with the pigeons leaving droppings on your car? How'd you like to live in Japan and have a giant turtle leave droppings on your Isuzu? No problem. <laughs> no problem, my elbow, sister. Boy, I'm telling you, it is terrible on the paint job. And don't go trying to tell me that it's good for the farmers either. Okay, we'll get right back to that land of hot sake and the chicken teriyaki for round two in the Battle of the Monsters right after these words. Yeah, Kaichi's right. She doesn't even look happy when Gamera wins each time. She really is a bad space woman. At least she dresses pretty bad in that vinyl skirt of hers. <laughs> Boy, there is that Subaru in Osaka that's missing its upholstery right now. <laughs> oh, so what happens next in this movie? I mean, do they just keep throwing monsters at Gamera, hoping that one of them can whip him or something? Heck, I mean, I could have made a better monster movie than that. All you need are a few of these little dime store rubber lizards like this and the right sound effects. Well, so 
far it's Gamera 4, Monsters from Space, Zip. This movie's moving. Elvira! Uh, uh, Elvira! Okay, okay, what, what? I can hear you. Elvira, you have failed again. What do you mean? This is a terrible movie. Oh, well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, it was either this one or E.T. goes to Harlem. I don't have... Silence! Much... This was your last chance, Elvira, and you blew it. Hey, let's not get personal, okay? I, you know, you have I'm failed trying. for the last time, Elvira. Now take off the dress. No! 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 no wait a minute! No! Just give me one more chance, okay? I mean, you gave that other girl another chance. Yeah, well, I had to. That was my sister-in-law. Oh, well, well, look, just give me, just give me one more chance, and I'll get better movies. Do you promise to get better movies? Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, I promise. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, I promise I'll get better movies, sucker. Hey, what you mean? We have to all sleep in a one riddle room? Yeah, that's right, and there's no TV in here either. Hey, you think that's bad? There's only one bed in here, and there's no Yamaha organ either. Hey, I don't think I rock being a good space woman all the time. I think I'm going to transform. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, ha, oh, I dislocated my arm here. Oh, no. Elvira! Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> that really scared you, didn't it? You're real cute, real cute. I'd love to play with you, Mr. Turtle. But my stupid mom made me let you go. Soon you will be a giant monster and blow flames out your leg hole. The bad space woman has come. And you must save the Earth. Come on, sacrifice yourself. Yeah! Shake your booty, Gamera. Get down, Gamera. Open your mouth and burn them all to death. Everybody, open your mouth and burn them all to death. Hey, Kaichi, who's the chick? Oh, she's my new sister, the one I've always wanted. Yeah, she looks like a pretty bad space woman to me. Yeah, she is. And she doesn't even look happy when Gamera wins each time. Oh, I know it's hard to believe, but that bad space woman really does have a soul after all. And that's why they went and stuck the soul train in the movie like that. The soul train! Oh, that was probably Don Cornelius dressed up to be one of them monsters. Well, there's still more action-packed excitement in store as Gamera's super monster battles to save Osaka from total destruction right after this. You know, all this movie needed to make it really great would have been another fight scene between those monsters. <laughs> well, I mean, why quit after only eight or ten? Gamera was just getting on a roll. Of course, it would have been curtains for that oversized walnut shell if them other monsters had used their heads and ganged up on him. But no, they just decided to take him on one by one. Boy, I guess it just takes a devious mind like mine to figure out something like that. <laughs> well, listen, it's time for me to be a boogie on out of here. I've got to get on home and bake up a special batch of cookies to leave out for old Santa Claus. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try that new recipe where you substitute the x lax for the chocolate chips. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. Hey, oh, hey, watch this! Ta-da! Hey, pretty neat, huh? Okay, so I'm a bad space woman. And I didn't even look happy when Gamera won each time. So there. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Pleasant dream. <laughs> Camera, I see him on the time. 